Danke, Sir. Danke, Sir. Gate. This way.
Kapitän, die Maschinen sind fertig zum Auslaufen. Stand by, the cast off. Stand by, Engines. Herr Kapitän. My information was correct. There are four nuclear devices on board. Excellent. Excellent. Now let us hope the rest of our plans go as smoothly as this has. Sharon McCready, one of the champions, a book to read, to be read in such a way that it becomes another reminder of the event that changed her life and the lives of her two colleagues, Craig Sterling and Richard Barrett. Craig, Sharon and Richard, survivors of an air crash in the wasteland of Tibet, survivors through the intervention of the lost people of an unknown civilization, a people that gave them the senses and qualities of superhumans senses and qualities that make them the champions champions of law order and justice thank you i enjoyed it but you can't have read it couldn't i able to use their gifts to their best advantage as operators of the international agency of nemesis One submarine in a thousand square miles of ocean. Morning, morning. Sorry I'm late, sorry I was delayed. <laughs> Problems? You could say that. A submarine complete with four atomic missiles has been stolen. These shoplifters, they get everywhere. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah. What have we got to go on? Well, security at the naval base are trying to collect what facts they can, but... After all, it only happened last night, so there's nothing in yet. And so we were just called in as part of the general panic. Now, every available ship and plane is out searching for that sub right now. Let's have another look. You see, they're about here. How does one steal a submarine? By knowing every single cog in the base organization and all the service procedure. Inside information? The works. They must have known about those missiles. They sure did. That's what they were after. Big as this is, I got a feeling there's more to come. Those nuclear warheads, they're only a part of it. Do we know what kind of missiles they are, sir? Yeah, it's in the file. When do we get the security report? Oh, very soon, I expect, but it will have already been acted upon. The services will handle it themselves. Yes, I realize that, but, you know, they could miss something. I'd like to see it. You will, Craig, but don't you realize that anything we get on this case will be second-hand? Well, according to this, they were AL-7s. It's not my field, but if I remember, they're new, aren't they? The nearest and the best. And they weren't armed? No, no, no. Military agreements don't allow for that, but of course they can, if you know how. How many scientists have that kind of information? A few. I realize what you're getting at, but if you've got an organization capable of stealing a submarine, I should say that the kidnapping of a physicist will be comparatively simple. <laughs> Everybody? How much longer? Oh, I don't think they can fiddle about much longer, sir. Any minute now, sir. Oh, don't be nervous, Doctor. Roll. Film interview, Dr. Mueller, one take one. Action! 
We have in the studio Dr. Rudolf Müller, the very famous physicist. He's visiting London for a few days before continuing on to Sweden for the international conference being held there. Welcome to London, Dr. Müller. But I thought we were going to the lounge first. I wouldn't know. I was told he was eager to get away. Mm. Yes, he hates this sort of thing. All right, we'll be out as soon as we can. Thank you, Doctor. All right, wrap it up, boys. Thank you very much indeed, sir. This great. Thank you, Corbett. Thank you. All right. Card waiting, Doctor. Thank you, Thank you Susanna. <laughs> I've seen enough of you have. Well, it certainly is a long shot, Craig. I think it depends on how you look at it. I'd call it a simple deduction. Well, I don't know how you came up with this idea, but whatever it is, it certainly isn't simple. Identicate picture of one of the suspects, probably German, right? Right. All right. To take that sub, you'd need an experienced crew, right? Right. How about a little uh, German crew with some wartime service and U-boats, right? Right. All right. According to these security handouts, they had enough fuel on board to cover 1,500 nautical miles, which includes those pins that we just saw, right? Wrong. Why should they go there? Because they're going to have to hide out. If I'm correct, they know those pens like the back of their hands. Don't you forget that those pens were abandoned. They're deserted now. Hey, you can't be that sure. The alternative is sitting around here. Look, let me just take Richard. We'll, we'll go and have a look. We'll ask around. That's impossible. I can't spare. All right, I'll take Sharon. Look, sir, I know it's a hunch, but I think it's a good one. Hey there, Craig. You seem very willing these days to back your intuitions. Do I? Well, what do you say? The search should be well underway by now. I wish we didn't have to stay on the surface. We will dive as soon as repairs are completed, Herr Leutnant. Ah, we should have Müller in our hands by now. Yeah, and the authorities will have had our offer. Here the Sharon and Craig have left yeah, that's right there. Now, come in, Richard. This is Richard Barrett. Gentlemen, well, we've got a bit more to go on. The sea search is continuing, but there's been a further development. 
Two hours ago at London Airport, Dr. Muller gave a news interview. Well, there's been no trace of him since. We can only assume the worst. Rudolf Muller. That's right. The physicist. That now means that whoever holds these missiles also have a man who could give them the information they require to use them. I see, and you want me to go to London. That's right. Of course, it's being well covered there, but you'll be representing us, and they'll need all the help they can get, because there's not a great deal of time. Why not? Well, we've received a communication from the organization or whatever it is that claims to be behind all this. It states quite simply that unless five million dollars in gold is paid as instructed, they'll destroy London. We cannot dive under the ice until the flooding vents are repaired. And it is far too dangerous to hang around until the work is completed. So, we will have to try and force our way through. Slow ahead together. Slow ahead together. Slow ahead both, Herr Kapitän. again. Listen. It's a search plane. It must be. Capitan? Yeah? All vents cleared. Good. Stand by to die. Still no sign of it. But it can't be far away. We are clear now. We will dive. <laughs> Have you seen? I don't know. Thank you. 
Der Kater. Did you find your brother? No, no, I didn't. Carl here doesn't know the name, but thinks he might be on Sailor's boat. It's due in tomorrow. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'll check. Come in, Craig. There are enough places in those bays to hide not one, but 100 submarines. They could stay down there forever if they wanted to. Well, there's no reason why the crew should come up, either. Could be they haven't arrived yet. Mm. How'd you make out? I questioned as many of the locals as I could. Well, not being very specific, of course. They said they hadn't seen any strangers. I was so sure I was right in coming here. It still could be. I knew it. I knew it. Instinctively, I felt it. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but counting so much on what happened to us. I just could have sworn that my senses were right. Trouble is, we don't know how right or how wrong they can be, do we? Or if we'll ever understand. Maybe superhumans make super mistakes? No, no, nothing, Commander. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. I, I think the five million dollars should be paid. I've already recommended that. Huh? Oh, yes, indeed. They may still carry out their threat or repeat it, but it makes no difference. The danger will always be there until we find that submarine. Hmm? Yep, right. All right, good night, Commander. <laughs> You should be no trouble, but you are not to take any chances, you understand? Yeah. We will give you until midday tomorrow. If there are any delays, you have better report back. I know exactly what I have to do. Good night. Thank you, Auf Wiedersehen. Men can hardly expect immediate action. After all, we've only been here one day. I still think the old war horse is going to recall us. He wasn't exactly sold on my hunch, you know. You want another? Hello. What do you think? Listen. I've arranged to meet some friends here. Name of Strautrich. They didn't arrive. They must have missed the steamer. When is the next one due? Late tomorrow. Shall I say you called? No. I'll be back. We've got to follow him. Agreed. We wouldn't get very far without him knowing. It's dark. We'd have to keep too close. Yeah. It's a pity we haven't got a radio bug to stick on him. Do you know how clever you are? Allow me. Thank you. Now be my guest. 
Thank you. All right, kid, let's move. Listen. Come on. Wait a minute. That way. I think we lost them. Well, what do we do? Go back? I think you better go back. It's nearly time we radioed in. Well, what about you? I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find anything. Do I mention this to Tremaine? No, you better not. He'll really think I'm off my rocker this time. You just better make the check for now. OK. See you in the morning. Barrett here, sir. What's happened to Craig? Have you heard from him? Yes, I have. A few minutes ago, as a matter of fact, Sharon called. What, what do you mean? What's happened to him? Well, it's just that I found a lead here in London. I felt he might be in trouble, that's all. What was the name of that village? Mittenheim? Yes, that's it. Now, now, what kind of a lead? I can't explain now, Chief. I'll contact you as soon as I get over there. You'll stay in London. I'm recalling Craig anyway. Richard. Richard! <laughs> Maybe he was following me, maybe he wasn't. I just couldn't afford to take chances, could I? You shouldn't have brought him back here. It was the only way I could make certain he wouldn't be found. All right. Put him in one of the stalls. Thank you. 
Hello, Sharon. Am I glad to see you. What's been happening? Oh, Craig. Craig didn't come back this morning. I didn't know what to do first. see that character on the boat, but he must have come over with me. Who are you talking about? Don't you recognize him? That was Dr. Muller. He's had nothing since he came on board. Lieutenant Haller should have been here hours ago. Still, I suppose our delay spoiled the schedule. I still can't believe this is happening. Don't worry, Susanna. Do exactly as you are told and nothing will happen to you, I promise. He means that. We all had very strict orders about you. I mean, if we wanted to kill you, we could have done it at the airport. Couldn't we? I don't care about me. I want to know why. Why? You should have stayed where you were when the doctor walked out of the interview room. You must have planned everything. Worked it all out right down to the very last detail. That's right. It was easy for him. Having access to all those security arrangements. I still don't understand. You had everything you wanted. Did I? I had nothing. Nothing! That just isn't true. Look at me, Susanna. What you see? A famous physicist, the leading atomic expert of the Western world? Uh, just a tired old man. I'm a prisoner of my knowledge, Susanna. I can't escape. Not while there are powers who could use what I know. Like you're using it yourself. Yes, if you like. I prefer to say I'm buying my freedom with that same knowledge that restricts it. And for your freedom, millions could be killed. That won't happen. You know, Susanna, I wouldn't have any part of a thing like that. No, it's only a threat. But a threat that can't be ignored. And what then? With the money I'll get from that, I shall have an independence all of my own. And they're waiting to be taken to the submarine. Obviously. Do you think they know what Hannah looks like? It's worth a try. <laughs> I tell them you are here. You've got 
What a visitor. We'll be right down. It's not the man who came before. He's a guest here. He paid me to set it up. Paid me this. Tell him to come up. What is it? I don't know. As we've come that far. There's no point in taking any chances now, is there? Come in. Who are you? That doesn't matter. All you have to know is that we're taking that place isn't going with you. Listen, if you think... I you don't can... think. I know. For a man who'll go this far for his last remaining years, I don't think you'd give them up so easily. And I warn you, I'll use this if I have to. Something like this had to happen, Doctor. You must do as he says. You should have listened to her before, Muller. Richard, they're coming up. Yeah, we'll go and meet their contact. We should pick them up where you and Craig lost them. All right, Doctor. Not you. You're staying here. If you haven't heard from us by this evening, phone this number and don't do anything until then. You understand? Yes. Come on, After Richard. you, Doctor. Come on. Hello? Yeah. Good. Dr. Muller. Uh, there was some trouble. We decided to come and meet you. Uh, this is Suzanne Taylor, the doctor's secretary. What kind of trouble? Uh, it's not important. I'll tell you later. Let's get moving, huh? Right, this way. They're coming on board, Herr Kapitän. Just keep coming, all of you. He killed Albrecht. They forced me to stay where you are, Doctor. Well, we seem to have caught some uninvited guests. But this reception committee was laid on for you, Doctor. For me? Shoots, what do you think you are doing? Let us just say there's been a change of plans. Green 4-5, cross 090, Herr Leutnant. Steady as she goes. It's the best I can do. Thanks, Doc. How much do I owe you? You all right? Certainly, I'm all right. Does it look it? You tried the door? Of course I tried the door. Maybe combined operation. Well? I can't do what you ask. I can't. You can, and you will. 
the missiles have already been programmed to fall on London. All you have to do is to activate them. That was never part of my plan, never. But always part of mine. Why do you think we joined you, Doctor? Hmm? For the money? It was for the chance of avenging the fatherland. For years, years I have dreamt of erasing the disgust and humiliation I felt when we surrendered. Surrendered! Conrad, the war's the work of a madman. You fought that war, Doctor. That war brought together everyone you have used in your operation. But you are using it for your own gain. I am doing what I believe in. It's murder. There's millions of innocent people. They always are. Surely you must have reconciled yourself to the moral question. If you need a war to make it acceptable, then I can assure you that for many of us it has never ended. I shall give you ten seconds for your final answer. If it is no, I shall kill you. No. No. One. Two. Three. Four. We must talk about this, Conrad. Five. We must talk about this some more. Six. I won't. Seven. I won't. Eight. Nine. Don't shoot. I'll do it. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'll do whatever you say, just don't kill me. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. <laughs> Diving stations, dive, dive, dive! <laughs> will be destroyed. Stay with Richard. You make him surface. Come on, Doctor, you're coming with me. Move! All right, surface, come on. Surface. Of course. You know something? I quite look forward to my trial. And one thing is for certain. It will not be in London. All right, Doctor, how do we stop them? We can't. Or destroy them. Even if we smash up everything, the missiles will soon reach their target. There has got to be a way. The only thing is to reroute them, but there isn't time. By the time the computers have worked out the new course, they'll have already landed. How long? We'd have to radio the new instructions within a minute, 90 seconds at the most. Call me the figures. You are crazy. Even the computers couldn't give the answer in that time. Bearing, double one five dash two. Range, four double zero dash one dash four. Ceiling, two dash one dash four. A 
lost the controls. We've changed their course, but it can't be correct. They could land anywhere. The calculations are correct, Doctor. The target is now here. The missiles were exploded here. There was very little radiation and the danger and loss of life were expected to be nil. The submarine was, as you know, recovered and the organization rounded up completely. The rest of their people, when they tried to collect the five million dollars in gold, were arrested and will be charged later. You know, we'll have to explain how we did it. Well, whatever we tell him, Tremaine won't believe it. Maybe not, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, he wouldn't believe the truth either.